All right, so welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to animate our little menu here. So when we can switch between the panels here like this, and then when you press the play button, we're gonna go into one of the actual levels. Uh, so stick around and let's get started. Okay, so diving right in here. Uh, first thing I wanna do is I wanna reopen the base menu panel scene and I'm gonna add a new node to this. This is the first time we've talked about animating anything. And while I don't have to have this animation here, um, I want this to look a little more polished than it currently does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the menu panel slide in when uh, it's active, and then I'll have it slide back out when it's inactive. So when you're like on your main menu, you should see it slide in to be in the game. And then if you push the settings button, you'll see this one slide out and the other one slide in. So it's almost like you're, you know, flipping cards or something like that. So this is a node that we haven't used so far in this project. So I'm going to select the base menu panel here. I'm going to add a new node. And this node is going to be an animation player. And um, that'll automatically open up this little animation toolbar down here. If you lose it, so like if it's not there anymore and you need to do something with your animations, if you look down here, um, you can bring that animation panel back up. So we're going to create a new animation. We're going to do that by plus or by pressing this little plus button here, and I'm just going to call this um, animation slide in, and that brings up this is the kind of animation setup. And there's a lot of things that you can do here. I'm going to deal with the simplest parts first. So first, I want my animation to be less than one second long. I want it to be 0.4 seconds long. And you'll see that changes this uh, light gray portion. This represents the animation itself. Now, I want to create a new key. So when I have the animation player active here, like I do, if I go click on something else, like say the base menu panel, you'll see that in the inspector, everything has a key on it. So you can animate anything, including what script is currently attached to your object. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna change the offset. So I want the offset to start out at 500 on X and zero on Y. And I'm gonna make a key out of that. So if I press the key button, it's gonna ask me if I wanna create a new property. I'm gonna create that property and you'll see that I have offset here and that's referring to specifically the base menu panels offset. And it's gonna start at 500 comma zero, which is a little bit off screen. So the next thing I wanna do, see if you, actually I'm gonna go more than 500, I'm gonna go 576 and yeah, 576 zero and I'm going to uh, change the key to be that which should be fine there we go so now it's actually fully off screen I'm going to scrub over so I'm going to put my mouse in this kind of time section here I'm going to drag over until the blue line is at 0 0.4 I'm going to change my base menu panel to be at 0, 0 now and then I'll create a key out of that position. So uh, if I play it, oh, OK. So it didn't actually move. Oh, OK. It did, though. We'll, we'll be able to see that work in just a second. So I've got my little animation here. You want to make sure that um, this key down here looks like a smooth curve. You can have it be continuous, discrete, or triggered, we want it to be continuous. And then we don't want it to loop. Okay, so don't worry about any of that. Now, there's our, um, our uh, animation created. Now, we won't have to create an animation for moving it out because Godot allows you to play an animation backwards where instead of starting at 576 and going to zero, it would start at zero and go to 576. So we're gonna use that idea. So I'm going to highlight my base menu panel here, and I'm going to create a new script. So new script, and I'm going to put this in my scripts folder. So, oops, nope, too far. Too far, too far, too far. There we go. I'm going to put this in my scripts folder. I'm going to call it base menu panel. Um, save, create. I'm going to create a couple uh, functions here. So the first function I'm going to create, I actually don't need any of this, I don't think. The first function I'm going to create uh, function slide in 
and this is going to just have it move in. So all I really want to do is have the animation player play the slide in animation. So dollar sign animation player dot play, and what I want it to play, slide in. So that's my slide in function. I'm going to make a slide out function. So function slide out and animation player dot play and you'll notice that there's play backwards and the one I want to play backwards is slide in. And there we go. So that's my two um, my two little functions there. So I'm gonna pop out a distraction free mode here and now I want to look at my menu panels themselves. So I'm gonna open up those two panels. So I've got my main menu panel and then I've got my settings panel. I'm gonna open both of those and let's take a look at them in their, their regular habitat. So you'll notice now that um, both of these are kind of off screen here. Um, if I choose the animation player, I can now actually play the animation to see what it would look like. So there we go. Mirror. And then backwards would be that. Mirror, mirror. Cool. Now, um, what I want to do is so I got my base menu panel and that has a script that should have inherited to this but it didn't so that's fine though uh, I'm gonna make a new script and this new script is going to inherit not from oh no that's why I had the animation player node highlighted so I'm gonna highlight the main menu panel here I'm gonna clear the script I'm going to make a new script instead. And that new script is going to inherit from the menu panel script I already made. Because uh, I want to have all the regular functionality of that menu panel, meaning the ability to slide in and slide out. But I also want the buttons to be unique to this panel. So I don't want like the, the play and settings button to be on the settings panel. And I don't want the back and sound on off button to be on this panel. So I want them to have unique functions, but share some functionality. So I'm going to inherit a script just like you would inherit a scene. And the script I'm going to inherit is base menu panel. So now I want to decide what I'm going to call this script. And I'm going to call it main menu panel in my scripts folder. And I'll create. And you'll see now that instead of extending from control or animation player or canvas layer, it's extending from that main script. So it has all of the functionality of that script. So. I'm going to delete this, and uh, what I want to do first is I want to make a signal from the buttons to uh, this panel. So button one, which is the play button, I'm going to go to node, I'm going to connect its pressed signal to my main there, and then I'm going to go to button two and connect its pressed signal to main. So there we go. I'm also going to create two signals to go with this. So my first signal is going to be uh, play pressed. And then my second signal is going to be settings pressed. So button one is the play button. So when button one is pressed, I'm going to emit play pressed. Mr. Shaw, please report to Mrs. Goffney's office. Mr. Shaw, thank you. Sorry for that weird cut. Um, so on the on button one press signal, I'm going to emit signal. And the signal I want to emit is play pressed. And then I'm going to do the same thing for button two. I'm going to emit the signal for settings. So emit signal settings pressed cool and then i'll connect these in that main screen that we made uh, in just a minute here so i'm going to kind of clear this up a little bit all right cool now i'm going to go over to the settings panel and uh, i'm going to do something very similar uh, so first i'm going to clear out the script and instead i'm going to create a new script that inherits from the base menu panel so to do that, I need to navigate to my scripts folder, base menu panel, create. And then this creates that new script. Uh, I don't need any of these functions, so I'm going to get rid of them. 
and then I want to connect the two buttons again. So, button one, I want to press connect, connect, and button two, press connect, connect. Now my two signals for this are gonna be, um, we'll call this sound change, and then signal back button, how about? So button one is changing the sound, so this is gonna be um, emit signal sound change, nope, not that, <laughs> forgot to use uh, quotation marks, sound change, and then for this one it's going to be emit signal back button. All right, so I'm gonna save that really fast. Now, um, I'm pretty much done with these two. So I'm gonna go to my base menu panel. My base, oh, not the base menu panel, sorry. My game menu. Now I'm gonna save everything. I want both of these two panels to start with an offset of 500 on X, or not 500, 576 is what we decided. And then my settings panel, um, I think I moved its scale or its transform or something. Um, totally shouldn't have done that. So let's see, what should my transform be? Okay, so it should be one, zero, negative zero. I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna create a new instance of it because um, I messed that up so much last time. So in my scenes, I want my settings panel. Oh, I need to tell it where to parent it. My settings panel, there we go. And this time it actually inherited like it was supposed to its offset. So there we go. All right, now my game menu needs to have a script attached to it. And the game menu is going to control which of these is currently active. So I'm gonna create a new script. Uh, this is gonna be game menu. I'm gonna put it in the scripts folder. Looks like I put that settings folder in the wrong place. Or settings script. So I'm gonna create that script. Um, what I want to do here is, um, okay, so for my ready function, what I want is to make the main menu, so main menu panel active. And to do that, I'm going to do uh, dollar sign main dot, that's right, isn't it? Dollar sign main. Yeah, dollar sign main. Come on now. Dot slide in. That is what I called that, isn't it? Why is Yeah, slide slide in. Okay, cool. So dollar sign main dot slide in. And then that's it. So I'm gonna create a few functions here really quickly. So actually I don't need to. I just want to save this really fast. And then let's hit play and let's see how this works. Non-existent function slide in in base canvas layer. Did that main not get the right function? All right, well, let me just do what I did to, I'm gonna delete that node and I'm gonna re-parent it. Main, oh, I called it main menu panel. Uh, it must've been another mistake from yesterday. All right, cool, there we go. So. Now if I play that, cool, there we go, so it slides in. All right, now what I want to happen is when I press the settings button, I want it to slide out, and then I want the other one to slide in. So uh, I want to connect the signal from main. So my node, settings pressed, I'm gonna connect that to game menu, and settings pressed is going to dollar sign main dot slide out and then dollar sign settings dot slide in. Um, all right, so let's give that a try. Save everything, let's hit play. Cool, so they kind of flip flop there. Um, now I want my back button 
to go back to uh, the main menu. So I'm going to connect and then I'm just going to copy these two lines here. So copy, paste. And then I want the main menu to slide in and the settings menu to slide out. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to hit play here. So mirror, 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 mirror. We haven't done anything with the sound button, and we're going to do something with the sound button uh, later when we actually cover sounds in game. The last thing we need to do is have that play button connect to the game itself. So uh, what I want to do is grab my main panel, and I want to connect play pressed to the game menu. And then in here, what I want to do is I want to change the current active scene. So, so in order to do that, uh, what I want to do is I want to get the scene tree. So get tree dot, and I want to change the scene. And the scene I want to change it to is our main game scene. So to do that, I want to make sure that I have the right scene here. So did I put it in levels, yeah. I'm going to load level1.tscn. And you can get the path for this by right clicking, choose copy path, and then I'm just going to paste that path right here, and then make sure that I put quotations around it uh, because Godot needs to see that as a string. So I'm going to save, and let's try this out. So I'm going to hit play, settings, back, settings, back, and then if I choose play, and there we go. I'm in this weirdly offset level I made uh, a few videos ago but so there you go um, cool if you have any questions on this feel free to let me know uh, you can leave a comment down below you can join the discord where there's a ton of really good people um, who are totally willing to step up and help if I'm not there so yeah thank you very much and I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day if you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, subscribing to the channel, or telling a friend who might be interested. Also, please consider following me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can earn access to tangible rewards, like early access to videos, backer-only videos and series, polls for future topics, streams, and even individual tutoring sessions. You can find a link to that in the description. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.